Hello friends, hey it's Jamie again. I just wanted to give you guys a quick updated tour. You can see the roses are still blooming but they need some work. So I'm gonna try to get some work. I've been planting a lot and so I'm trying to get some work done on them. Hopefully today, but I still want to do a quick tour. Wajilla is still looking pretty. I know I talk about this shrub every time, but it's just looking gorgeous. And we have these Unonymous that I think I'm going to move to a different spot that I'll show you in a minute. This is the uh, Coral Berry or Snowberry Pinky Promise. And it is growing really nice. I've been really happy with this shrub. And look at this, look at this hydrangea. Look at that. It's gonna get some blooms. I'm so excited. I got this shrub probably in 2017 and it only bloomed a few times. It's got, it's loaded with blooms. So we're gonna, I'm, I, I'm been really holding off on trimming it. Because if you can see, it actually still has a few places where it's growing there. So I'm holding off on it a little bit longer. And we got a couple of things here. Here's my hook Do you think I should move that? I feel like it's a little crowded, but I love the color. This is gonna be a coneflower there on the side of it. Um, Cheyenne Spirit. And this purple coneflower has gotten huge. And I'm also thinking of moving the sedum out here. So little tiny sedum tucked in there. And it is just um, not getting probably enough sun. So I'm thinking of tucking it out or getting it out of there. Um, butterfly bushes aren't blooming yet. So I cut most of that one down. Uh, there's two back there. This one's coming along. But they're, they're um, going to come along soon. Lilies are, you know, working on it. But they're... Uh, they're not quite out. They do have a white lily out though. This area is usually shaded. It gets a little bit dappled sun here. But I'm gonna put in some coleus in here. I kind of move along here quickly because there's really not a whole lot blooming yet. We do have a coneflower out. So here's our purple cone flower. And I have some beautiful oriental lilies in here. I did have a lily back in through here and I don't know. I was thinking about it the other day. It kind of got tucked in here. Oh, there, there it is. This way should have been moved out. There's a good example of Planting, planting things in the wrong order. That should have probably been moved. Maybe this um, this year I'll move that out somewhere else. Um, I've also got a sedum in here I thought about maybe taking out with the other one and putting it somewhere else. There's that oral again. He's, he wants to know where his jelly is. I didn't put his jelly out yet. We got some Montuk daisies and we've got some some beautiful grass as well. It gets a really pretty bloom on it. And then this is a firelight hydrangea. We've got two of these and they get really big as well. Then we have this area here, which is still looking nice. We got a stilbies about to bloom right there do like those. Like I said, the roses need a good trim. I started staking them. They're just so tall. These are blooming. These are the Stella de Oro Daylilies. Lots of ferns. an 
porch here. And then we're pondering what to put in this regatta space right here. Um, pondering taking out Tater Tot or Bravita. Um, and then this area, I plant it up. It looks very tiny right now, but I think it'll look nice once it's all done growing. So we're gonna mulch everything to um, lots of things that will be done to kind of tidy up and get everything looking good. I also got here on the edge, these are calendulas and then I got a cupia. This is a proven winner's millionaire. These are really nice. The hummingbirds love them. You know, get quite a quite a bit bigger. It doesn't get huge though. So right here, this is looking very nice. I'll show you that other section over there in a minute. Wisteria is all done blooming. Dogwood tree in the back there with um, blue spruces. So yeah, this section has really grown in really nicely. And then we even have some little alliums in here that are gonna be blooming early. You shouldn't bloom till July. Okay, so over in here is my new area we're putting in. Look at all these roses. My husband was digging. That's why I didn't get the roses trimmed because we were digging and planning this. All these holes we have here. Be careful I don't step in any. So we're going to be getting all of these in. We have, most of them aren't blooming, I gotta trim them off. This is fragrant plum. And most of them are floribundas with a couple of hybrid teas and grandifloras. This one we might put in a different area, this ketchup and mustard. That looks really cool. Might put that one in a different spot. Then pondering taking these catmint out of here and putting with them because they don't, um, trimming them up a little bit. They don't get a lot of sun. They're getting kind of, um, you know, leggy here. So I'm pondering taking those out, but we have more shade in this area right here. And then right in front of this, we get a lot of sun. So I decided to put the roses here. We kind of have limited space. I've always wanted a rose garden, so I'm super excited. Now these are the Jacob's Ladders. They're gonna get trimmed as well. Um, And then we're thinking about, I got a glider to put here, but I also have a bistro set that was over in the other area. Careful where I'm walking here. Um, so thought about putting the bistro set here. So, and then we have some more hosses. I love these hosses and, and the hookahs and the Jacob's Ladder. Very pretty. So yeah, so we're thinking about, uh, I've got some perennials that have blues and pinks in them to put with these roses. I really love this one. Very pretty. So yeah, so we've got our holes. Might dig these out just a touch more, but they're pretty good. And we're going to put some um, compost and probably a little bit of topsoil in with them. Fertilizer. Got some, uh, probably use the Spoma. Uh, the um, fertilizer is kind of like a long feeding fertilizer. So, yeah, these are exciting. This one's really pretty. And then, what I may do is put an arch in front of a couple roses going here. Then, I may put an arch. And then, we'll be putting cardboard down, probably to get rid of some of this. Um, grass is probably what I'm going to do, but I think this will be really nice 
There's just a wooded, wild area beyond this. Um, we have a barn area down there. We can just, you know, look at this area off into the woods there and it'll be really pretty, especially in the mornings. Okay, so this area needs a lot of work. We've got our a hardy hibiscus blooming here. These are nice though. We've got some lilies. I got these in Clarence from Lowe's or Home Depot one time. So you can always pick up, especially lilies. Lilies are great to pick up in Clarence. They won't maybe bloom so nice that year, but the next year they'll look nice. And maybe I'll bring those other lilies from the other side over to here. Then we're thinking of taking Paradise out. I really like this rose. So pretty. Um, and it's pinkish purple, so I'm thinking of putting that with the purples over there. And just the daylilies, waiting on them to bloom. Got some dianthesis, waiting to bloom. So everything over in here, we had the, um, I have a red rose back in here. So I'm thinking of putting the other red rose um, on the other side. So everything, we're just kind of waiting to bloom over here. I've got lemon balm I'm taking out. So just lots of things over here that I'll be kind of working on and kind of getting better. It's looking a little wild. we got these lupines. Those are going to get trimmed. Um, they start to look not, they're really pretty when they flower, but when they don't, yeah, don't look so good. So these are going to get trimmed off because you really want to get that pod off of there before they put seed everywhere. So those are getting trimmed. Next few days, we're going to be planting some, uh, we're going to probably plant a couple of petunias in here, like some super tunias. To kind of give a little color. We have a really big coneflower here. And just be cleaning up. Cleaning up things. We still got daffodils. We started working on them, but getting them cleaned up. Right here, I just wanted to show you Boscobel. Isn't this pretty? I just love this rose. This is just a really gorgeous rose. It has a really gorgeous color. I think it's one of my favorites. Definitely one of my favorites of David Austin. So it's doing well. Been kind of waiting on the shrub to do well. It was definitely not doing so good the first couple of years. It kept getting eaten off and I'm so happy that it's it's doing good now. It has lots of beautiful blooms. Okay, right here I have my tropical rose on patience. And then we have our raised beds. And get these planted up and here's all the onions looking good that I planted around April 1st. They're looking pretty good. These ones are growing a little slower. Garlic's doing great. Just cut all the garlic scapes off. And then we have uh, reds over here. So yeah, everything's are going good. These are all the herbs they need. They're, they're going to look crazy. They need cut off. I'm um, going to try to cut off your oregano and your parsley. It's just not high on my priority list, so it just didn't get done yet. You know, you kind of have to. There's so much to do sometimes that I feel like you really have to prioritize, you know, what is most important and go with that. Okay, right here I have my double play doozy spirea by Proven Winners. Very pretty. It's grown a lot since 2021. It's probably three to four feet um, wide and tall. So it's got a lot of growth on it. I got a couple of rose bushes behind it. It's definitely grown way more than the rose bushes have. Um, so it's doing really good. This gets sun normally. It's a little bit cloudier today, but it gets sun, full sun during the day. And um, I haven't really done a lot of other stuff to it. I don't really do a lot. Um, I'm going to probably prune it a little bit when it's done and then it will rebloom. But other than that, it's, it's a really easy one. 
here are the blooms when they're first. I'm coming out right before they come out. Then you'll see here, they come out to this really pretty cluster. You can see the bees love them. Look at this pretty bee. Honeybee there with pollen sacs. Okay guys, and this is my cut flower garden. We're getting this prepped and ready. We're gonna be putting in rows. We're gonna be planting seeds. You can see everything's finishing up that was blooming for spring, some of the biennial things that I had growing. Maybe I'll make a bouquet out of those. And then this area down in here, we're gonna be taking out some of the invasive weeds, but leaving it wild. There's some asters and goldenrods and milkweed down there. There's some uh, yarrow actually growing that I stuck down here. So it just tends to, I don't like how it looks in the garden, like more of a formal garden setting. So I thought I'm gonna put things down here that you know, you can let it grow a little wilder, right? So that's what I'm gonna do here, is kind of tidy this up, take out some unnecessary things. I've got some briars in there. Those are gonna get, get out of there. Um, and hopefully clean this up a little bit. That's my goal. I've got so much other stuff to plant. It's definitely last on my list, but um, I'm hoping that I'll be able to get to it, so. All right, so thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Um, I'm really looking forward to growing this channel and sharing with you everything that I have learned and I am learning. So please join me in my journey. Please subscribe and like, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks guys.